Artie Ojeda and Deborah Takahara. Weekdays at 4. NBC 739 News in the Morning. Coverage you can count on. Gas prices are dropping at the wholesale level, but what does that mean at the pump? This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with John Burry, Mary Ann Childers, Steve Dessler with weather, Tim Weigel with sports, and the Eyewitness News team. This is Eyewitness News. Hear them. Good evening. Dozens of angry protesters fought security guards at a Chicago school board meeting today. The Dem weeks to go, the race to get the campaigns rolling. Stalking the giant bluefin, a day in the water with some ocean-going big game hunters. And diet and cancer, the connection is stronger than you think. Good evening, I'm Norma Lee McLeod, and this is Compass for Monday, October the 3rd. The elect And Ben Johnson's having a rough ride, Scott, but I yeah. guess we're going to hear from him publicly tomorrow. Well, I think I'd be at the end of my straw if I were, you know, in his situation, uh, you know. outside tonight but I'm sure everyone was out on the weekend and beautiful weekend that it was here we see the cold front that passed through Prince Edward Island much of the Maritimes by mid-morning today and it brought from Ottawa this is Newsday tonight compensation for botched birth and there's no place <laughs> like home two bear cubs return to the wild Good evening. Pierre Granger calls it justice done, but he says all the money... It's all ahead of the KTVU Morning News. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 Morning News. And good morning. Thanks for waking up with us. It's Friday, February 6th. I'm Pam Cook. And good morning. I'm Dave Clark. Let's check your weather and traffic now. Here's Steve. All right. Thank you, Pam and Dave. Good morning, everyone. On this Friday, we have... Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTBU Channel 2 News at 5. Two new orders today from President Obama. One lift will the 49er faithful and Raider Nation be united under one stadium. We'll tell you about a controversial proposal from the NFL's commissioner. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTBU Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Somerville. And I'm Julie Hayner. From one of the most free-spirited spots in the Bay Area comes this. This is Cron 4 News with the headlines at 4. Topping headlines at 4, Macy's announcing today it will cut 7,000 jobs. That's almost 4% of its workforce. Not only that, it will slash its dividend and reduce contributions to its employees' retirement. This is Cron 4 News at 4 with Rob Black and your money. <laughs> Let's look at the financial headlines. Before I actually go there, let me hint and push and nudge you through the weekend. Mom, this is Cron 4 News at 6. Since the budget battle began, California has fallen more than $8 billion deeper into the red. This number doesn't include the 42 dollar deficit that's been plaguing the state for months. But now at six, one state lawmaker tells Cron 4 why the budget battle could be solved in just a matter of days. And right now, state leaders are trying to hash out a budget. The governor is behind closed doors with state Democratic and Republican. WWL-TV, Channel 4, New Orleans. Bill Elder. And Don Westbrook with weather. Louisiana's news leader, Channel 4's Eyewitness News. Good afternoon. This is the 12 o'clock news for a Monday, February the 16th. 
Well, this afternoon, Governor Edwin Edwards is expected to make good on... Next on News 8, hundreds of San Diego drivers caught by red light cameras are smiling tonight. Their tickets will be thrown out. A big protest today. County workers say our emergency 911 services are in danger. And San Diego's most beloved panda, Wame, moves into her new home. News 8 starts right now. You're watching San Diego's number one source for news. Right here, right now. This is News 8 at 6.30. And if, if they're going to be making money from... Live from San Diego's number one source for news, Michael Tuck, Kathleen Bay, Matt Bailo's microclimate weather, and Ted Leitner. Right here, right now, you're watching News 8 at 6.30. Valley View Casino's really cooking in July. Enjoy steak and trip scampi... From WNBC TV in New York, this is Live at Five with Jack Cafferty, Sue Simmons, and Al Roker with the weather. Good evening. A black teenager is shot to death in what police say was a racially motivated mob attack in Bensonhurst. Police say as well. Until then, thanks and good night. <laughs> this has been Live at Five with Jack Cafferty and Sue Simmons. Live at 5 is a presentation of WNBC-TV in New York. I'm Don Pardo. From WNBC-TV, this is News 4 New York with Chuck Scarborough and Pat Harper. Good evening. A young black man is gunned down in Brooklyn after being encircled by a gang of whites waiting in ambush. This is News 4, WOAI. Sky News 4 over Leon Springs, northwest of San Antonio this afternoon. Cops finally stopping a driver at I-10 and Bernie Stage Road after a 20-mile... America stands on the brink of war. CBS 11's Robert Riggs is the only local reporter there with Texas troops on the front lines. We're into the sixth hour of a sandstorm. It's just part of our total coverage of the showdown with Saddam. Reporting the news, CBS 11. And pod Reporting the news, this is CBS 11 at 6. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning us in tonight. Saddam Hussein is declaring that his country has met its commitment to disarm and he wants the United Nations to lift its sanctions against Iraq. He said. Reporting news, this is CBS 11 at 10. As the U.S. makes one final diplomatic push, both Iraq and Everyone, thanks for tuning us in. This weekend, U.S. officials are making a last-ditch effort to get U.N. backing for a possible war against Iraq. Go to crown4.com and click on the gift store link for half-price gift certificates. Live from the Bay Area's news station, this is the Crown 4 Morning News. And good morning. It is 4 o'clock. You're looking at a live picture here of the Bay Bridge span from the San Francisco side. The upper deck moving pretty good. Good morning and welcome. In the world tonight, hunting a killer, police release a note from the past. The bizarre disposal of a huge GST ripoff. And Ontario Somalis denounce welfare abusers and critics at Queen's Park. The World Tonight with Peter Kent and Jane Gilbert. Good evening. Ontario Provincial Police are asking the public to help them solve a three-year-old murder case.
Gutiérrez, gracias por acompañarnos en este espacio informativo telediario este sábado 9 de septiembre. Hay mucha información interesante, así que le invito. I'm Hillary Brown. The Toronto Blue Jays, expected to be a World Series contender earlier this year, have fired their manager, Jimmy Williams. And can In the news, the Laredo Police Officers Association may ask for the resignation of District Attorney Julio Garcia. And a local doctor says there's a danger of contracting the AIDS virus from Nuevo Laredo prostitutes. In sports, Astros ace Mike Scott wins his Cy Young Award, and you won't want to miss part one of our exclusive series on Laredo Sports Gambling. And in weather, bundle up. It's going to stay cold all week long. Stay tuned. Laredo's top-rated newscast is next. I'm Randy Kent. And I'm Dot Pedersen. Laredo and the nation pause today to honor and remember the sacrifice. Those calories you burned off. Yeah, you, the calories you burn off riding in the car. <laughs> the <finish line. laughs> That's the early edition of Eyewitness News. We'll be back at 10. Have a nice evening. <laughs> Hello, Americans. I'm... Now at 11. Just what happened? unsealed search warrant shed new light on the deadly new Britain home invasion. Looking for proof all 416 children taken in that polygamy raid now must give more than their testimony. Pirouettes for the Pope. Local dancers are about to give a once-in-a-lifetime performance. But first tonight, an alert to parents after an attempted abduction in Bristol. The school district used an automated messaging system. This is an ABC News special report. Hello again, everybody, and for those of you joining us now who uh, I cannot imagine under any circumstances expected to see a normal World News Tonight broadcast at this time. We've been on the air for the last 10 hours as the country has endured uh, or is trying to, uh, to get through, as one official here in New York said, this horrendous attack on the United States today. WRC-TV, Washington's community-minded station. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Good morning, this is today, the second day of our week in Washington, Tuesday, November 4th. And you're looking, of course, at the White House in the early light of autumn in the Capitol. I'm Hugh Downs. Joe Garagiola is here this morning, as is our Washington editor, Bill Monroe. Barbara Walters is off on a film assignment with Tricia Nixon. We'll hear more about that a little later. Since it is voting day, the polls are open at different times in different places across the country. But just a reminder to vote. Well, we're spending the entire week here in Washington to bring you a cross-section of the varied activities. In the right now, I have to tell you, this is today on NBC. Eddie Arnold welcomes Judy Karn, the Letterman, and Tom Siva of the New York Mets tomorrow night. Hi there. I'm Carmelita Pope. Have you tried... D.C. School Board returns on Community Minded 4. Today in Washington with Don Doak is being brought to you by Pepco, providing a power to help you live better electrically. Good morning. It's 48 degrees at 725. Variable cloudiness and cooler today in Washington. The high about 60. As many as 750,000 Virginians are expected to vote in the election today. Focus on Doak in a moment back to the Today Show, which is originating in Washington.
Stay tuned at 825 this morning for Jim Vance with Today in Washington. Full election coverage on Community Minded 4. Good morning again. It's 30 minutes after the hour now. And a casual motorcycle ride turns into a dangerous battle for Bronson tomorrow night. James, my club. Stuntman's accident rocks the Hollywood studio in Bracken's World Friday night. CBS reports Campaign 70, Television and Politics, with CBS News correspondent Mike Wallace. Paul Bellow and Country's Charlie Daniels tomorrow, live at 5. The United States takes a big step on arms control, and Gary Hart keeps people guessing. Good evening, I'm Garrick Utley. Tom Brokaw is on assignment. Verification. The drug lords declare total war on the government of Colombia. Baseball's fallen hero, Pete Rose, kicked out of the game he loves. At a new day in Poland, a solidarity prime minister takes office. NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. Tom Brokaw is off tonight. I'm Mary Alice Williams. A climate of terror and fear in Colombia tonight. The Thursday night, I'm Mary Alice Williams. For all the men and women of NBC, thank you. Good night. the top sports stories of the year. Let's go spanning the world. Anything's possible. Len Berman. That's sports. No one covers New York like News for New York. An ABC News business brief. Now from New York, Dan Quartz. Good evening. Japan's trade surplus with the U.S. You're watching Fox 38 News, first at 10. One day when North Korea is liberated, I think the world is going to be shocked by what we find in terms of the treatment of human beings in North Korea. Live from your 24-hour news source, this is 24-hour News 8's Daybreak on My Indie TV. Good morning. Welcome back to Daybreak on my Indie TV. It's Tuesday, June 9th. Scott Sanders. I'm a PBS kid. And this is WFYI 1. A scare in the suburbs. What sparked a school bus driver to leave police on a chase through several towns? An overnight fire ends in tragedy at a nature center. And New York gets the royal treatment. Prince Harry pays an official visit to the Big Apple. Good afternoon to you. This is the NBC 5 News at 430. I'm Marion Brooks. Our top story this afternoon, a school bus chase and shooting in the south suburbs. The driver leading police on a chase through... Now, from Rockford, WQRF Fox 39 Evening News. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Nelson. The Salvation Army cuts ties with the End Center, a move that the organization says will... WQRF, Fox 39 Evening News with Kimberly Nelson. Check this out. Now, your first warm weather forecast with Paul Youngblood. And let's uh, just take a moment here in... The car bicycle crash sends two children to the hospital. 
I hope we make it. I really hope so. A show of force and community policing tonight to fight violence in a local neighborhood. My message to the criminal community is look over your shoulder. And they have his DNA, but we'll tell you why experts are saying catching Milwaukee serial killer is an uphill battle. Plus, we enjoyed a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Coming up in just minutes, I'll let you know if your Sunday is looking as nice or whether showers and storms will move in with your first alert weather. You're watching CBS 58's 10 at 10 with nonstop news and your complete first alert weather forecast, all in the first 10 minutes. Now, 10 at 10. Child's play on a bike leads to a tragic accident. A young brother and sister were hit by a car tonight in Milwaukee. You're watching 10 at 10 on CBS 58. Breaking news on Milwaukee's south side where a tactical squad has responded to a home near 11th and Lapo. 10 at 10's in HD. From today's TMJ4, this is Live at Daybreak, Sunday. Why some say the governor has planned to save. In spring, weather can turn on a dime. John Milan and the Storm Team 4 promise. We will be on top of the storm with high definition radar. It gives us such a clear look of the supercells as they come in. Unmatched experience. Experience is is very, very important and a commitment to your safety. When severe weather is imminent, we are focusing on just protecting lives. Storm Team 4. And we will be on the air until you are safe. Very few rip. Good morning, South Central Wisconsin. This is the morning show on NBC 15. It is Monday, June the 1st already. It is June 2009 at 6 a.m. The Morning Show with Christine Belcourt, Sarah Carlson, and Weather with Charlie Shortino. This is 27 News at 5.30. We've got you covered. People who are married and then people who want to get married that can't get married, and it's just a mess now. Same-sex couples call it a frustrating and confusing time when courts in different states issue different decisions about marriage and the benefits that go along with it. Good evening, I'm Carl Agnelli. We'll get to that in a moment. First, though, we begin with a fire that has burned a building in Deerfield. Calls started coming in this afternoon. This is 27 News with Carl Agnelli. Meteorologist Kelly Curran. Brian Custer Sports. We've got you covered. General Motors has a matter of hours now to present a restructuring plan to the federal government. The June 1st deadline is just about here, but at this hour, Congress confirms that plan does include bankruptcy protection. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Julie Lund. Well, within just the past... Thanks for watching Fox 47 News at 9. Kansas police tonight say they have a suspect. Classmates take time to mourn and remember a 14-year-old girl who lost her life in this weekend's fatal crash. The weather is perfect to grill out on the boat, but there's another kind of gas sparking concern on the water. And General Motors heads to federal court Monday morning, ready to enter Chapter 11. Now the government steps in. Keeping you informed, involved, and in touch. This is News 3 HD at 10. Welcome to News 3 at 10. I'm Andy Choi. The weekend weather picture perfect. Bob Les joins us with our work week outlook. Bob. Well, it's not going to quite look like that postcard that we saw. From You're watching News 3 HD at 10 with Andy Choi, meteorologist Karen Swanson, and Josh Williamson with sports. This is News 3 HD at 10. We salute this month's premiere. You're watching News 3 HD at 10. After decades of being on. And now, News 3 Sports. Since we're not leading with the Brewers, you can guess what happened in the final. Your station for balanced news and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 9. 
another sign of the times. Hundreds of people turned out today. You're watching Fox 11 News at 9 with Mark Leland, Laura Smith, meteorologist Doug Higgins with your forecast first, and Tom Risto live in the Fox 11 Sports Center. Wisconsin has more confirmed cases of the H. This is Action 2 News This Morning Weekend Edition. Coverage you can count on. And a great Sunday morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this May 31st, the last. From Action 2 News, Jen Carlman and Steve Balon. This is Action 2 News This Morning Weekend Edition. Coverage you can count on. Well, today is the final day of Chicago. First to speak with Alderman Ike Carruthers after his indictment. What are people saying to you when they call you? We're asking the questions. You wore a wire for a year. Any comment on that? It's not fair. Were hundreds of students admitted to the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana because they knew powerful politicians? And what's the university saying about it? Next at 9. Time. First on Fox tonight, the word from Springfield, Governor Quinn's tax increase is dead on arrival. Good evening, I'm Robin Robinson. And I'm Jeff Goldblatt. Political editor Jack Connolly looks at why the hike hit him. Live from our downtown Providence studios, the fastest growing news in New England. This is ABC6 News, first at four. Spectators and... On the air and streaming live at WIFR.com, the 23 News Update at 10 starts right now. Our top story tonight, the ailing auto industry hits a... You're watching 23 News right now in high definition with news anchors Nicole Versansky and Mike Garrigan, Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Mark Henderson, and Pat Costell with a 23 sports ticket. When, when severe weather threatens, get the big picture from Mark Henderson and the 23 Storm Team Weather Lab. With the most powerful weather technology, Titan 3D Doppler radar in high definition, you're getting an even bigger view of storms on the way. Plus, count on Timecast for an early warning advantage so you can keep your family safe. And watch 23 Weather Now for up-to-the-minute information 24-7. Ready to warn you on air and online at WIFR.com. Turn to the 23 Storm Team Weather Lab only on 23 News right now. Live from Rockford's News Leader, this is 13 News at 6. Two high achieving Rockford High School students break down. Yeah. I am. Some things we can kind of prepare for, even though it may never happen. A local alderman warns residents about swine flu, but is all the concern warranted? And coming up, the top 40 under 40 in Rockford and celebrating what they brought to the state line. Plus, two Illinois spellers made the finals of the Scripps National Spelling Bee, but who was crowned spelling champion? Clouds roll out just in time for Friday, but the weekend may see some stormy weather. The weekend forecast has the latest. This is WTVO Channel 17 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Charles Vance. Nicole has the night off with the death toll from swine. You're watching WTVO News at 10. With Charles Vance, Nicole Kilmer, Scott Leber with sports, and Paul Youngblood with your first warm weather forecast. This is WTVO News at 10. Wow. Live. From NBC 30, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. This is Connecticut News at 11. Wow, it's all... Live from WFSB, this is Eyewitness News Nightbeat. Good evening, a breaking story upon... This is the WTWO Weekend Edition. Good evening.
buenas tardes, gracias por sintonizar el noticiero número uno.